Welcome to Learn at Ease. In this video, I will explain the signaling of insulin that induces growth by MAP kinase pathway. So let's get started. In my previous videos I explained, that when insulin is produced in response to sugar ingestion, it travels into the blood and reaches the target tissue, insulin then binds to the its receptor and activates it. This activates several pathways but the most well studied pathways are the ones that induces mobilization of GLUT4, glycogen synthesis and growth. I have already explained the first two pathways in my previous videos and you would find its link in the description below. In this video, I will explain induction of growth by MAP kinase pathway. Here, mitogen activated protein kinase is abbreviated as MAP. In the animation, a target cell is shown and its nucleus is represented at the bottom left. Insulin will bind to the alpha subunit of the receptor and it will cause its activation. Here the detailed mechanism of receptor activation is shown. Briefly, insulin contains two alpha and two beta subunits constituting 320 kilo Dalton molecular weight in total. The beta subunit possesses several tyrosine residues. When insulin binds to the receptor, the alpha subunits will drive the change in the conformation of beta subunits, this will cause autophosphorylation of tyrosine residues in the beta subunit. Let's get back to the original animation. So form tyrosine phosphate will drive the phosphorylation of insulin receptor substrate 1. Once the IRS1 is activated, an adapter protein, GRB2 is recruited to IRS1. Let us see this mechanism in detail. IRS1 and GRB2 is shown here. GRB2 possess a protein domain named SH2, which is SRC homology 2 domain. Additional information about SH2 domain is shown in the text on the right. GRB2 containing SH2 domain will bind to phosphorylated tyrosine residues on IRS1 and this will active the MAP kinase pathway. There exists an adapter protein named SOS which will then bind to GRB2 protein, let us see this mechanism in detail. Here, IRS1 bounded to GRB2 protein and SOS protein is shown, now, GRB2 protein possesses two additional SH3 domains, which is also a conserved protein domain contained within the SARC oncoprotein. SOS adapter protein will bind to SH3 domain of GRB2. SOS is also known as RASC guanine exchange factor, and it is an abbreviation for son of seven less. Let us go back to the original animation. There is another protein named, RAS, which is a monomeric G protein, and it is also known as GTP binding switch protein. Here, RAS is shown in its inactivated form, where it is bounded to GDP. In the animation GTP is also shown along with another protein named, RAF kinase. RAF is an acronym for Rapidly Accelerated Fibrosarcoma. SOS will now recruit RAS and it will help to replace GDP with GTP. As soon as GTP binds to RAS, it gets activated. Now, RAF kinase will bind to activated RAS and gets activated. RAF kinase will then phosphorylate another protein, named MAP kinase kinase, that is abbreviated, as MEK. Once activated, MEK will phosphorylate another kinase named ERK, which is an acronym for extracellular regulated kinase. ERK will enter the nucleus. In the nucleus, there exists transcription factors such as SRF and ELK1. After ERK moves into the nucleus, it phosphorylates nuclear transcription factors such as ELK1 and activating them. Phosphorylated ELK1 joins SRF to stimulate the transcription by binding to specific transcription factors and causes translation of a set of genes needed for cell division. This is how insulin induces mitosis. Molecules inducing cell division are called mitogens. Pathway induced by mitogens to promote growth is through a cascade of reactions collectively known as mitogen activated protein kinase cascade. This is the pathway showing activation of MAP kinase cascade by insulin. Pause the video to understand the sketch of the detailed pathway. Hope you enjoyed my video, stay tuned to my channel. Feel free to share, like and comment. 
subscribe to LAE. See you soon.